transitions there. That was crazy. What's up everybody? We are back. It is a glorious Thursday uh, here at the, the house. We are fixing the camera slightly. There we go. It's cockeyed. How to fix it. Guinness is here. He's eating a greenie. He's having a treat. Oh, look at you. Look at you in your face. Look at that face. He's being cute as always. All right, so. Let's see if anybody's here. No viewers yet. I'm gonna hang out and wait for some viewers to pop in. And maybe people will. Mikey K, what is going on? Um, from where? From here or from somewhere else? From the store in New York? That give me a little bit more information. Got the Gene Steeler Colt shirt on today. It's a great shirt. I like it. Now it says we have a viewer. You'd have to give me more, more info. All right, so we're gonna get started right after I clean my glasses. My glasses. I know most of you guys are too young to remember the Jerky Boys. They were funny. I enjoyed them. I will bring all of my shoes and all of my glasses, sir. Why will you bring your? Why would you bring all your shoes to the eye doctor? So I have them. We got today, we got a Zubat. We're working on this guy. 
Um, he's going to look cool, I think. We're going to go uh, non-traditional. Uh, he's gonna, we're going to do him in a grayscale again. We're here. Life Light. How's it going, Life Light? How are you doing? We're painting a Zubat today. We're going to paint this guy in a grayscale like we painted the Mimic You, if you were here for that. That came out really nice. Uh, this guy, I magnetized him also. Uh, he has his own clear flight stand. It's covered with tape and also gray primer, spray paint. But he's on there. Pretty good. You know, as long as you don't do that to him. <laughs> as long as you don't do what I just did. Don't do what I did. It's a terrible idea. Alright, so we get some stuff ready. colors. This color. We're going to do this. How's my audio? Audio coming in good? Everything working on that side? good uh, helps if you're following along and you have access to these uh, some people don't have access to the Vallejo paints for me it was a long time before I was able to get them um, I do appreciate Vallejo paints a little bit more than the last guy I think So we're going to get started on this guy. We'll talk about him later. So we're going to do a grayscale like we did on the last one. On the last one. On the Mimic U. Um, what I was asked to do by the person who wants this done for them is grayscale uh, the uh, wing holder membranes. Um in a bone color. I'm going to turn that down some. Get that. Okay. Um, in a bone color, the inside of the mouth wants to be a fleshy, bright pink. And then the wings, we're going to go with... Uh, green, a uh, very, very bright green, um, with a glow green paint that is somewhere around here. Um, I'll find that later. We're not going to get to that today, probably. We're just going to do some of the grayscale. The inside of the ears, we're going to do um, darker. So, uh, if I can find it. All right, so first thing we would need to do is pick a uh, point, of con uh, point of contact, a point of light that we want this to be hit by. Um, right now, it's there because my lights are centered up behind it, but I think I want to do it, uh, the light coming this way and hitting it on its face and dispersing that way. So the shadows will be similar to that, actually. Actually, yeah, let's do that right there. That works out great. All right. So uh, first color we're going to start with is some Eschen Gray. So how's everyone doing in chat? 
Got three people there hanging out. Uh, the radio station, in case you're wondering, today is... This is... Chill EDM. Which is probably one of my more favorite ones because I like uh, techno and EDM and chill. EDM and chill. So we've got the palette there. We have Eshin Gray, which is going to be uh, not the mid tone, but the. Should probably start with the mid tone. Shouldn't I? I'm a little all over the place today. Sorry. Sorry, eh? The mid tone's gonna be Dawnstone. Give this a mix. Looks good. Get it on my finger. That's also good. Paper towels handy. This is going to look very stark, should look very stark. Yes. So we're going to draw this out and about. Fade further back the head it goes. Smaller area. Front parts of the ears are going to be highly lit up. I like these little models. These models are super cute. I'm going to give it to Nintendo. They really know how to design things <laughs> to make things cute that people want to get. The OSL on this is going to be straight on to its face, which is why we're doing that on this. And I hope you all got the joke for uh, the Zubats. I hope you brought. Hope you all brought your <laughs> your repels. There's the Basilicum Gray. I was looking for that. Right there. Okay, so we're gonna hit this here. Guinness is down there licking. What are you licking, Guinness? Whatever, I'm a dog. I like the lick. Now the um, the color I'm using, this gray I'm using, uh, Dawnstone. This is one of the layer paints they make. Uh, this paint goes on typically um, thinner than the base color paints that they have, um, which makes it a little bit easier to blend, I guess. Well, not I guess, it does make it easier to blend, but as a uh, blending color, not as a base coating color, which we're kind of doing that right now, but things, things work out the way you want them to. We'll make it work. Guinness. Hey, do Puppy. Guinness. What are you doing down there? <laughs> All right. So we're going to have a light coming off this here. This brush is on its way out. It's probably about six to eight months old. That's pretty good for me. Brush the last six to eight months. So when you're blocking out colors like this, it's okay to, you're gonna overextend. That's okay. You're gonna come in and you're gonna work other colors up to it anyway. So if you feel like 
you've overextended on your shade of the color that you're putting on it. Probably have, but we're going to fix that. It's not about, it's about the final, this is about the final destination, not the journey. Not like life. Life is about the journey. We enjoy everything along the way, right? Oh, I gotta hydrate. When did you do that? Haha. <laughs> Say <clears throat> refill. It's not actually Dunkin' Donuts today. That was from yesterday. I I really like to try to reuse the uh, plastic cups. So if I go out to a store. I'll try to use the same plastic cup at home and just rinse it out instead of throwing it right in the trash. Now we could always give this guy an eyeball too. I was thinking about doing that. Um, I know technically he's not supposed to have an eyeball, but but, but, what I was thinking of doing was actually putting a, an eyeball, one single eyeball, dead center, right there, to make him extra creepy creepy. What do y'all think? Right. We're going to go into the Eschen Gray now. this feather this around we're gonna add a little bit of black to uh, actually no I think I might just add a wash to it now oh, my phone's going bonkers what's going on phone getting questions on dinner. I'll have to reply to that later. They know what I'm doing. So the, I use a Basilicum Gray, Basilicum Standard Gray for my or Mechanicus Standard Gray, sorry, for my um, primer on this. That's a Games Workshop brand. Um, and it has like a, a much more blue hue to it um, than the uh, paints that I'm using. So I'm gonna have to cover most of this with, a, with other paints in order to cover up that blue, because I'm not looking for the blue gray particular model. I did get another pack, pack of Pokemons in that I ordered, oh, which I'm actually a little bit excited about. Ooh, sneak preview. So all of the Generation 1 starters are in there, which I'm excited about, because they're cool. I don't know why you wouldn't be excited about Generation 1 starters. You got your Char, Char, uh, oh my god, my brain, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, another Pikachu, 
And then Generation 2's... 2 or 3? I think it might be Generation 3 starters also in this pack. And... This guy, who is fantastic. Let me turn the brightness down on this. Hold on. Oh, let's go. Where are we going? Hold on. I'm trying to fix something. There we go. That's better. Go on the moon! Jeez! <laughs> now everybody's here. This guy is kind of awesome. So, that, that is the new hotness that I got in the mail the other day. How is it going, everybody? Yeah, these are, uh, yes, these are Pokemon. Uh, Zubat. Got, uh, I don't remember what he's called now. Oh my god. Good god. Uju, how are you? How are you doing? Is this a raid? Am I being raided? That might be happening. Anyone new here? We are third universe. We are a small, locally run and operated comic book and gaming store out of Croton, New York. Uh, my name is James. I go by Brother Sergeant James. And what I do is I paint miniatures. Right now, I am working on some Pokemon, uh, but I also paint Warhammer miniatures and some other hold on a second here apply that okay there we go it's a little bit better um <laughs> really any any kind of miniature i want that i can get my hands on um previous to working on this guy today uh i was working on a miniature from the Cursed City game, which came out uh, about two weeks ago, which is a board game that is pretty awesome, and the miniatures in it are pretty awesome, but then these came in the mail that I ordered, and these need to be, these need to be a thing, so these are being thinged. Yes, this is a Pokemon. I have painted other Pokemon on screen here. Hey, Nightbot's here too. What's up, Nightbot? Like <laughs> saying hi to him. He does a good job. What we're doing with this guy is we're painting him in a grayscale with uh, object source lighting. So on this model, what's going to happen is uh, there's going to be an imaginary light here coming down on it, and it's going to be brighter towards the front and center where the light's going to hit, and then shadowy on the rest of the model. And then there's going to be some other um, different colors for the membrous parts of the wings, and also for the finger parts on the wings. Uh, this is being done for someone. Someone wanted this done, so that's why I'm doing it that way. Uh, normally what I try to do is I try to go with the shiny or equivalent of shiny for 
whatever Pokemon or figure that I'm painting. Like I said, it doesn't always have to be a Pokemon figure. Uh, what we also are doing, um, when this guy's done, I'm going to be working on another model that I got with these packs, a Cubone that I am doing a custom, custom build on. I did modifications to it and some a little bit of sculpting. So uh, hopefully he's gonna turn out good. I will be showing him a little bit later in the stream. I wanna get some of this work done here. Uh, we run for about an hour. Uh, today I started a little late and we got no no Ren Dog that I can tell. Ren Dog, you're making me worry. on there so he can move around so I can get better angles on him or take him off and have him stick to something that is something I like to do with my figures and once all once these are done anything that's not being currently done for someone ie this model or uh, the mimic you if you come to the Starting soon, I have pictures of models that I have painted before. And why is this so dark? There we go. It's so dark. Um, they're in my stream starting soon. And you can see the we did a mimic you and a Oh boy, another one that my brain right now is not processing. Uh, he is now currently at the store in Croton on Hudson and he is available for purchase if you want to buy him. Uh, he's only $20. The, um, why can't I remember what he's called? If anybody remembers, if anybody saw it, they could Tell me which one it was, because right now, James' brain not working too good. I'm in the zone on painting. Pan Cham. I did a Pan Cham, and I did him in a red panda paint job. So. And he came out, I think he came out pretty good. And what I did with him, uh, he's the, the bad, the bad, tough guy. He's got an eye patch and big old anime eye. He looks like somebody out of uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, if you've ever watched that. <laughs> That's a good show, I like that show. I remember when that first came out. Throwbacks to old anime. Could probably here, click there. Should have a uh, extra window open to post pictures. Okay. Here we go. There he is. The pan chan that I did on stream earlier, or earlier, a couple weeks ago. Traveling around the world now. That's the guy we worked on last stream, or uh, a couple streams ago, I should say. The last Pokemon that I finished. Uh, the 
shiny version of him was not exactly uh, groundbreaking. It's kind of lame. <laughs> I think it was just a, a light gray coloring instead of the um, the black and black and white. So I went with a red panda. Which I think are super cute. If you ever seen a red panda, they're awesome. I highly recommend looking out, looking them up. I believe they're endangered. They're essentially like a, a Asian raccoon, not a um, uh, what is the? There is actually an Asian raccoon, a Japanese styled Asian raccoon. Uh, <laughs> You got some of your zoo last year? Aren't they cute? They're they're pretty big too. Surprisingly large for for what uh for what they are. They are not a panda, but they certainly are red. Very orangey. So right now we're blocking in colors. Uh, so got my water pot up here. All right, so what I was asked to do, the inside of the mouth, we're gonna be doing in a uh, bright pinky flesh tone. So what I'm gonna do with that is, I have this color here, which is super washed out right now from the light flesh. <laughs> and we're gonna work this. Whoa, whoa. This is escapade out of the bottle. Where is he at? Oh man, it's all weighted out when that's in the shot. Gengar, right? Gengar? Gengar. <laughs> That's just fantastic. Kudos on the man who designed that. You know, he does have some little tiny teeth in here, so I'm gonna avoid painting the teeth. I'll give him a little tongue later. And the teeth we're gonna pick out nice and bright with white. Okay, you're not going to be around for Sonya's uh, Sony stream tonight? That's okay. Sometimes you can miss it. You probably got things going on. Oh, it could be really creepy. You could paint an eyeball in there. <laughs> what do you think of that, guys? Paint an eyeball inside of the mouth. This does this uh, color I'm painting in here on camera looks extremely white. I have to fix the color balance. Take the white balance off. Oh, Sonia does a, I think she does Pokemon every night at um, seven. Contrast. Uh, Eastern, right? Never, yeah, Eastern, Easter time. Connecticut, New York, New York time. Excuse me while I with the colors a little bit. Six. One A. Oh, you gotta be, oh man, you, you're doing midnight shift? That's brutal. I 
I worked that shift for several years. My midnight shift, or my, we called it mid-shift, started at uh, 10 o'clock, 10 to, t no, four, 4 to 2, 4 to 2, and then we had a 10.30 uh, shift for a few weeks, and let me tell you, yeah, that, that's not fun. Really, really screws at your internal clock. But if you wanted to, like I said, Sonia, she does Pokemon every, um, all the time. She does it all the time. I know she does it on Thursdays and Tuesdays after I finish up here. She comes on a little bit later and she does uh, her thing. And she's a, she's a little bit better at this, I think, than me. Um, mostly because she does pack openings and if you're into that kind of stuff, she opens packs a lot and does giveaways, which she can do. Uh, you know, being at the store proper when she does it, when she uh, does her stream, and uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Give me big, bright red lips. When you do something like this, when you're, when you're painting, it's so much freedom. Uh, the only thing I ever have an issue with is um, choosing, choosing which way to go with something. Uh, but once I get that going, I'm typically, myself, I typically can uh, finish it out. But the problem is, is that a lot of times it's, it's difficult to, to get that starting point. So the arms, his arms, are going to be a bone color. So we're going to start that with a little bit of brown. This is earth. And the... the reason why I start with brown um, when I do bone, it just gives you better uh, coverage, essentially. Bone colored paints are very off-white. They, um, they don't cover very well. I'll also pick out his little teeth. Little baby teeth. It looks a little messy right now, but that's okay. Everything starts out messy. You can finish it, fix it. Whereas the bone, uh, yes, these are acrylic paints. Uh, water, water-based acrylic paints. The two paints that I use mostly, well, exclusively really, are Games Workshop Citadel paint and Vallejo, uh, which is a paint out of. Spanish, Spain. Uh, the Games Workshop has several types of paints that they use. They come in four different really types. They have a base color, bases, which are yeah. <laughs> Watching someone paint is interesting if you um, if they're doing something and they can explain it explain color choices and things like that. Uh, well, the base colors have a lot are, are heavier, have a lot more pigment. A paint is essentially two things. It's a pigment suspended in a medium. So the base color, and then they have, this is another base. Mastered photography. Uh, layer paints, which these have more medium than pigment, so they go on differently. They, uh, they, they're easier to blend together. And 
Then they have a technical paint. Uh, technical paints are... I don't have one handy. Um, are things that do, do weird stuff. Chalk painting? Uh, like cray paws? Well, not cray paws. Uh, that would be wax. Um, chalk, like black and white, would be uh, charcoal. Charcoal drawing. Which I am not really good at. <laughs> I can't draw. I cannot draw. I couldn't draw myself out of a wet paper bag. It's kind of funny because I can paint something. They look, uh, yeah, those are probably cray paws. Uh, they're wax, waxy. You can smudge them. Um, they're a pretty good medium, actually, because they're they're very smudgeable. using those when I was in like elementary school. I don't know if they still do that kind of stuff nowadays. You know, how they change what kids do. I was in elementary school <laughs> in the 80s. Cray paws, yep. Exactly. Yeah, Gauche. Gauche is a brand name, I believe. Pastels are um, colors that are specific shade of colors. So you can have a paint color and have it made into a pastel color. Pastels are uh, typically washed out, whited out. So you'll have like a, a pastel blue, which is a, just like a really fine baby blue. I could be wrong on that. I'm not a art major. Oh no. Well, go get some sleep. You gotta go to work in a couple hours. Have a good night, be safe. Don't forget to wear your mask. Wear yourself a dust mask. Okay. There's one inside wing done. Let me do the outside of this wing. I'm gonna check what time it is. Got a little bit of time. Go for a little bit while longer. If you like what you see here, if this is... Yeah, you better wear your mask. Worse than stock talk. Oh no, come on. You're learning something. Art's fun. You just gotta get into it. I have a friend of mine who is uh, very much into day trading now. He made it his, uh, his side hustle. And he really likes to talk about it. And I am not into it. And it's like, mm, okay. Whatever, bro. You don't want to be rude and be like, Shut up! I don't want to talk about this! <laughs> okay, here we go. Gouch. It's actually interesting in the art world. I saw a video on the tubes, on the YouTubes, about a new color of blue in paint 
which sounds weird that they're still inventing colors in blue, or colors in general, but they are actually still making new colors. Which is really weird if you think about it. Excuse me while I screw that up. Don't worry, that's gonna be changed. The membrous part of the wings is gonna be a vivid, bright neon green. This is gonna be extra weird. something you need to keep it extra tight. It always breaks. It'll help you with control to keep you steady. There's the inside of that. Outside and inside. Block it. These little weird tail doodads. This is such a weird design creature. Whoa. It's just no eyeballs, giant ears, weird tail things. It can't land. If it lands, it has to go flat. It's gotta be like, ugh. <laughs> can't hang upside down. It has to be constant perpetual flight. Someone is home at the house. The Guinness has arisen. Guinness. Guinness. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? He doesn't want to come over here. He's being a butt. Someone's outside. I want to go see him. Your mommy, Guinness? Yes. Hey! Streaming still. You can come in if you want. You might be on, you wouldn't be on camera. You wouldn't be on camera if you came in. I got the camera blocked with my body. I am. There's 10 viewers. That's my beautiful wife, Eva. She's hiding behind me. <laughs> what, you wanna be on? Wee, there she is. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. My beautiful wife Eva came in. She's on stream now. That was a first. She doesn't like being on camera. She is the one who. She's an incredible artist. She doesn't do it for a living. She didn't go to school for it, but she has the eye. Eva Pogamote. <laughs> you gotta get an Eevee Pokemon. Meow. Gotta get Eevees. Got all the Eevees. <laughs> So the, um, the kits that I buy for the these figures, they're called Pokemon Battle Ready figures. What's up, Guinness? He's down there sniffing around for food. Um, and almost every single Pokemon pack comes with an Eevee, so I got like nine Eevees. If you want an Eevee, let me know. 
get you one done and up and send it right out to you. <laughs> I got so many of them. And there's like three poses that they come in too, so they're not all the same. We're gonna be calling it wrap it up soon. Then I gotta go make dinner. Gotta go cook. Cook for everybody. We're doing stir fried rice tonight. I made it for lunch and everybody liked it, so. <laughs> Hello! So, Mikey, you didn't tell me where I should know you from. You asked me if I knew you, but I don't know if I know you because I don't know in reference to where. Yeah, all right, come on. We're gonna finish up these wing um, wing joint thingies and then we're going to call it a day for, for today. We'll be back on Tuesdays. Oh, okay. Well, you can always pop in. Pop in anytime you want. At the end of this stream, for everyone who's stuck by, I'm going to be showing you the progress on the Q-Bone ready for paint and he'll be the next one on the chopping block uh, he, I personally think he looks pretty good um, but you know I am uh, definitely well I'll remember you now Mike yay and then I'll say yay it's Mike uh, I am biased that it looks good but no, I'm allowed to have my own biases. I think Guinness is the coolest dog in the room. Right, Guinness? It's hiding down there. What are you doing down there? You want to come up? You want to say hi to the chat? No. Sniffing around trying to find food. Guinness was on this. Oh, I'm off camera, aren't I? Guinness was on the uh, on the stream when we did our one year stream anniversary. I took the, the ride down from up here and went down to Croton, back to the old store, and hung out with them. I introduced myself to everyone who was there on camera, in the stream. And Guinness was on the stream. Everybody loved Guinness. Of course, it's a doggo. Who doesn't love dogs? So this is where we're gonna be done with him for today. Dog cam. Dog cam is is whenever. Ready, Guinness? Come here. Dog cam. Raw. Raw doggo. <laughs> Say hi, Guinness. Say hi. Oh, hi everybody. Hi everybody. Oh. See, he he sits there in that bed normally, and normally I get him on camera at the beginning of every stream, and he says hi. He sticks his head up. Oh, he's so cuddly. He hates this right now. He's like, I don't like this. I want to be on the ground. I like being on the ground. Oh, he's a miniature schnauzer. He's about seven years old. And he is weird. Right, Guinness? You're a weirdo? You? You weird? Come here. Can do it? I'm not going to do it, huh? There he goes. Yeah, weirdo. All right, ready? Come on. Ah. So he's, he knows when the stream's over because that's his dinner time. Burning Monkey, what's up? Is that you, Rob? I think Rob is Burning Monkey. It's hard to remember who everybody is. All these names. Uh, dog cam will, uh, that would require a third camera. Not in the budget right now. <laughs> Two cameras is enough for me, but as I said, he usually is right there. And now he's back there. Monkey isn't Rob. Oh, okay. 
My bad. Said it's hard to tell. Some people have, uh, what is Rob's screen name? All right, so this guy, working on him, and then we got this guy over here. Monkey's just a monkey. This is a Cubone that I'm been modding. Uh, what I did, this came that his skull helmet, I did some extra groovy grooves on it to make it more skull-like. Uh, I used a PVC, uh, a tool, this tool right here. What this is, is a, uh, used for linoleum. Really? There we go. It's used to etch linoleum and uh, or any any plastic, really soft plastic. It would not work on on this guy. This guy's actually he's hard plastic. But that's because he does this. <laughs> um, so this guy right here, I modded the head. I gave him teeth. Oh, there we go. So all this is recessed now. Uh, I re sunk in the eyes. The eyes were flush with the head. So I sunk in the eyes. This one came out better. Uh, I gave him teeth for his mom's skull. The saddest Pokemon on the planet. Because this is his mom's skull. I shrunk the I shrunk this head down when the, well, the way the model came this head was actually even with the uh, skull helmet so I was like oh that's no good so I did that uh, I etched these in his uh, belly scales I guess I added a couple of them it's the first time using this tool well since I was like eight years old maybe I think I used it when I was eight um, I gave him fingers on both his hands. So now he actually has fingers instead of just nubs. Uh, and that's all the modding I did to it. And also, of course, I magnetized the arms for ease of painting. He will be getting painted. Um, I don't know what, what paint scheme. Uh, oh, and I, I slipped right there. Accidentally, that's gonna be like a battle scar. I might put a couple more on, maybe. Maybe a battle scarred Pokemon. So his arms rotate. Pew, pew, pew. Ah! It's an excuse to play with toys. <laughs> and I already have a base ready for him. He's gonna be going on this base here. So he's gonna be on a city style base. He'll be situated right around there. So he fills up the whole thing. And his head, this will eventually actually will be glued down. Um, it can't it hurt, hurt, hurt. If it rotates too much, the teeth will actually hit the body. And if the teeth hit the body, they can break off. They're um, made out of a poxy sculpt, poxy clay, poxy clay. They're hard, but they're brittle and they're only super glued on. So they can break off. I don't want them to break off. But I think he looks really good so far. So go right around there on this base. It just fills up nicely. And uh, I'm gonna need ideas on what color scheme. The standard one is tan and white with a uh, bone color. The shiny version is green and white which I don't really like either of those so uh, any ideas we can do like a, a fancy lizard because he is reptilian I believe or dinosaur not too sure I gotta look him up but this is after we're done with the Zubat so we gotta come up with ideas on how we want that guy painted all right, it's getting to that time. Redo this camera here, over to here. Come in the way, there we go. 
So thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. Uh, every Tuesdays and Thursdays around 4.30. And usually we have a uh, red dog here, but I don't know, this is just kind of worrying, worrisome. Makes me worry. Uh, <laughs> so we'll be working on Zubat for a couple streams, probably three. And after that, we'll move on to Cubone. We're going to need to have a color palette picked out uh, by next Tuesday. All right? So that's your, everybody's project is to figure out a color palette for that. All right? Outstanding. You all have a great day. I will be seeing you all.